Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm gonna review version 2 of my model pack. So yeah, let's just go right into it, I guess. So if you buy the pack, you will have a folder 3 pack. Yeah, you have a lip 4D folder and if you import it in Cinema 4D, you will have those stuffs. So for version 2, there are two new trees and there were some changes changes at the low polygon folder like yeah actually a lot because in version 1 low polygons were just yeah normal tree you couldn't move it actually like with formers I will explain it later but there is also like in the extra folder there are now 15 extra so that's a cool new thing and yeah, let's just go right into it. I'm gonna show you the two new trees. It's the crown tree and let's just zoom out a bit and the custom tree. So maybe some explanation. So the crown tree is like the tree you found in the jungle. Like, yeah, you'll probably know if you look in a jungle, you can find those. And then there is yeah, custom tree. You can't find those in like the Minecraft normal worlds, but yeah, you can actually create this. So I just tried to create like a custom one, so you guys have like a more detailed like. It's not yeah, cu just a custom one, you know. And yeah, the feature just stayed the same with in the like. I really recommend to watch version 1 because I explain a bit what the controllers do and yeah, what you can do in the less lag folder and the low polygon folder but i maybe gonna try to do that again in this version but now I'm just gonna go fast over the new things that were added in version 2 so yeah the controllers are still the same But um, the controllers for um, the low polygons folders, um, yeah, those were kind of changed, but I'm gonna go more in depth later. So yeah, still controllers, fines. Yeah, can go this, so yeah, that's really nice. And then maybe also a new feature, it's with all the trees, um, there is a new extra thing. You can disable like the alpha if you want a tree like this. So yeah, some people might like it this way, so yeah, I just included it. And yeah, that's a new one. For all all the other parts, I will explain that in version 1, so I really recommend to watch that video. <coughs> Sorry. So um, yeah, then the last lag is just the same like all of those trees but without the vines so some people might have like slow pcs so that's might something for you if you want like those part of the controllers but in the low polygon folder it's changed a lot like the controller types um, i'm gonna import just some trees so this is an old one and i also gonna import the two new ones So for the controllers it's changed a lot in version 1 so now you can move it this way and it doesn't work with bones um, maybe s some but it works with Ikea spline so yeah so if I work with Ikea spline I can use like the polygons so now you, you see those are low polygons so it's really handy if people got a slow PC so we can use this. <coughs> So yeah, you can enter here in the user data, there's a subdivision part, so you can choose from 4 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So yeah, I really recommend if you render it out to use 4 because yeah, it will be much smoother than you use 0 or 1 or something. So yeah, the controllers in here for the low polygons, you can also rotate it but only the this way 
and just the same with the top controller all this way but you can still uh, move it like this and there's also like a stretch thing in here and um, if you don't want to stretch you can also disable it in here so now it's without it have I yeah. see so yeah that's a really new cool feature so yeah just the same with all the other trees you can also change the subdivisions and also the alpha it changes with every tree you can just find out if you um, play around in the pack so yeah I'm gonna show you the new things in the extra folder now so the extras there are 50 new ones uh, no no just 50 now and I think there were four or five in the version one I'm not sure though but yeah just gonna review the new ones so and the first one is like the big tall grass and it's kind of the same like the large fern those two are the new ones so yeah just the same method with the controllers and yeah I explain all those things for the user data in version 1 so yeah just the grass types it mo it's mostly with all the extras the same so also the color and it's the same with the other one so color and the bulge and there's all, in every like most of the extras or the trees from the leaves you have a wind feature so yeah that's kind of nice so let's go on to the next like there are the I added some mushrooms so yeah there is not like a controller to bend it but yeah it, I just thought it wasn't needed because it's this is just so small you know and yeah just the same with the other ones and the color the bulge and yeah it's very fine I'm not gonna explain everything in here you just probably know what it is if you use it so yeah here just the same so then the dead bush is also a new one the cacao steak is an old one um, yeah I explained that in version 1 so yeah this is not like the normal texture um, from Minecraft this is my custom one because yeah this is the normal one you can change it in here but it's kind of just two colors and yeah I just kind of like this more but if you want to go like the normal ones from Minecraft you can use this it's just up to you also there's a wind feature so that's kind of nice and then still it's the same with the bush so yeah then also the color if you want something different yeah and the bulge can enable it or disable it so if you go in here and the wind strength you know textures so then also a new thing is the decoration block this may be one of my favorites so yeah I'm gonna go in the user data for now so there is an amount and the size so if you drag this up you'll see you create like a platform and you can also go like sideways in here so this is a 10 up 10 like platform and then there's also like an effector feature so you can create like a pet from this so can also use the strength so you can adjust it to create like your own pets and yeah you can play around with this with, with those sliders and you can create like your own stuff so you can really go advanced in this one so yeah there's a lot of possibilities as you might have seen so you can also use like sideways one in here and yeah uh, it's for me it's just like better for this one but you can use it if you use effector like some pets from this just you know you can just play around with this like I said and there's also under here there's a spacing one 
So yeah, if you might want to use this to create some more pets. Yeah, and then the factor. It's all up to you, okay? And yeah, there's also like a texture feature in here. Maybe I wanna go back in here. <laughs> um, yeah, the texture feature. So you can change from grass to yeah some other types of grass and stone like gravel and all that. And I also added sand and snow. So yeah, you can yeah you can choose from those textures for the, yeah the path. <laughs> um, yeah, you can also change the color in here um, from each one actually. So the color, and there's also a side size feature if you want some smaller pets. And I also added a thing like under here you can place some items that you can use. Maybe I'm gonna import like this feature from the Wii, and you can place it under here. And if you remove the grass, kind of. We'll have something like this. So yeah, that's a really cool feature, I guess. So you can just import everything under here, and you can play around with this. So yeah, it's just up to you. Yep. So let's go on to the next new thing, I guess. So it's like the Karoo. And the weed is actually kind of the same with the controller, so you have like a new type of controller I added. So yeah, you just kind of move this around and you can have some like cool things with it I guess. And also the sides works, so that's kind of nice and just the same with this one, you see, and maybe for the user data from the wheat is you can let it grow like like this you know the normal minecraft stuff and also the color maybe some guys would like something else so i just included it and sparify if you want some bulgy look and yeah the winds for everything the same and you can also extrude it so that's also kind of nice because some people might like some thicker ones and so might like some smaller so yeah it's just up to you and yeah just the same for the curve actually so you can change from some types and the color I can also sparify the big ones and then the smaller ones and you can enable or disable the wind of course and the strength you can adjust it and same extrude you can yeah play around with this and yeah then also some new ones are the melon and the pumpkin and first of all I'm gonna show you the melon so yeah just like normal melon you can let it grow like just start from the bottom and yeah just like the normal minecraft and then the 10 is just only the melon and you can enable or disable smooth edges or the smooth melon like the bulgy one and there's also wind for the plants in here so if I click on play and I turn the strength up you can see it will kind of move so yeah that's a nice feature so it's kind of the same for the pumpkin but you can choose from normal pumpkin and then the carved one so in under here there's normal one so if you just want this pumpkin and then also the carved one so it's just kind of the same with the melon so you just let it grow and then you have the pumpkin and then the 10 is just normally the pumpkin without the plant so you can choose from nor normal and carved and also the smooth edges and the pumpkin like yeah the bulge kind of and the wind for the plants it's also a thing so if you kind of see it moves so yeah that's really nice I guess 
and then for the other ones that are in the folder I explained it in version 1 of my pack so yeah I will leave a link in the description so really check that out okay and I think that's actually kind of it um, yeah I have two new trees and 15 extra so that will come up 10 trees and 15 extra so yeah that's a really nice update I guess so it's not like a big update but yeah it's it's just good enough for an update I guess so yeah the most thing that was changed is the low polygon folder so yeah that's a nice cool new thing with the subdivisions you know so yeah just play around with all those stuffs and yeah those trees are kind of nice there are trees and um, mushrooms in here if you didn't know so yeah I guess that's kind of it for this video um yeah <laughs> that's it then I guess um, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah maybe you could leave some cool tips for version 3 of the version 2 pack from the trees um, yeah I think I have to say goodbye then <laughs> bye see you later guys see you later